Hi everyone, my name is Kevin. Today we are going to talk about the new OneDrive Personal Vault. It recently came out a few weeks ago and we're gonna talk about what it is and then how you can take advantage of it. And as full disclosure, before we jump into it, I work at Microsoft as a full-time employee. So first off, what is the Personal Vault? Well, the Personal Vault comes as part of OneDrive. OneDrive is a cloud storage provider where you can store files in the cloud. And what the Personal Vault does is it gives an extra layer of security to files that you're saving in the cloud. So just as a quick example, I just you know have my passport sitting here. And when I go on trips, one thing that always terrifies me is what if I lose my passport? What if someone steals my passport? Uh, it'd probably be a good thing to have a photo of my passport handy. But I don't wanna just store that photo on my phone. I don't wanna just store the photo in my regular OneDrive account because if someone gets my username and my password, they could easily access that confidential information. So what can I do? Well, that's where the personal vault comes into play. All right, well, let's jump on my desktop and I'll show you how it works. So here I am on the OneDrive homepage. If you don't have a OneDrive account, you could sign up for free. And uh, what I've done is I've already set up my account, so I'm just gonna click on sign in. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna type in my OneDrive account name, and then I'm gonna click on next, and then I'm gonna type in the password, it's already entered for me, and then I'm gonna sign in. And so I land on my main OneDrive account screen. What you'll see is I have all my standard folders here, and there's an addition of one new folder called the Personal Vault. So what is the difference? Well, a standard folder, if I click on a standard folder, I just land in the standard folder. I've already logged into OneDrive, so I have access to all my files now. However, when I go back and I click into the Personal Vault, what'll happen is it prompts me for additional information. And what I've done is I've set up my account, so either I have to verify my identity with a text message or I have to get an email. And so this is called two-factor authentication. I have to verify my identity using two different means. So I've already logged into the site, which was one of them, and now I can either use text or email as a second form of validation that I am who I say I am. And so if someone just say gets your username and password to your account, well, they might not have your phone, they might not have access to the email, and so then they would be blocked from accessing this location. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and text myself here type in the last four digits of my phone number, and I'm gonna go send the code. And so what I've done is I just got a text message, and I'm gonna go ahead and enter in the code. And so this code, every time I get texted, um, it's a new number, so you won't be able to just uh, copy this number and get into my account. Here I am in the OneDrive Personal Vault. And so a few things here, it says the Personal Vault is your place within OneDrive with an extra layer of security. So what happens is if I don't touch anything on my computer, after 20 minutes, it'll automatically log out. And what they do is they suggest a bunch of different file types that I could include in here. So I mentioned the passport example, but you know it could also be a driver's license, tax records, birth certificate, any type of information that you don't want someone else getting their hands on, you could put in here. Um, and what you could do is you could very easily move other existing files that you already have in OneDrive to your personal vault. If you have the OneDrive app on your phone, you could also take pictures of things and then easily place them into the vault. Now what I'm gonna do is I have a Word document that I've already created, and this is my password sheet. These are the passwords I use for all my sites. No, I'm just kidding, I, I really don't. These are very basic passwords. In fact, the funny thing is these are actually the most popular 20 passwords um, out there, and you see a lot of people just type in numbers, uh, one through six, one through nine, or QWERTY, just kind of going across the letters on the keyboard. Please, if you're gonna set a password, choose something a little more complicated than what you see here. Someone could easily break into your account, and that's why you always hear about people getting into accounts, because they set passwords like these. So set something a little more secure, have uppercase, lowercase, you know, symbols, all that sort of stuff, because those are harder to guess. Um, but what I've done is I've saved this sheet, and now this is a pretty confidential piece of information. I don't want others to access it. And what I could do is you could just drag and drop a file over. So here I've selected a file. Um, and what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna drop it here and that'll upload my file. And now this sheet is in my password vault. And what I could do is once I'm done with uh, uploading all my sheets, um, what I could do is I could click on this little vault icon and I could lock my vault or I could go into settings. Under settings, I could say, uh, what I want my other authentication mechanisms to be, whether it's my phone and email address. Um, but what I'm gonna do for now is I'm gonna go ahead and lock this folder. So I'm gonna go ahead and lock. And once again, I'm back in my main OneDrive folder. And if I click on the personal vault, um, here it says that it's locked. Unlock your personal vault to continue. And if I click on unlock, once again, I'm prompted to sign in. 
And uh, that's just an extra layer of security above and beyond kind of your main credentials that you use to log into OneDrive. Uh, with a Office 365 account, you can store any number of files within your OneDrive vault, uh, your personal vault. If you have a free account, you can still use the vault. Um, however, Microsoft uh, limits you to only putting three files in your personal vault with a free account. Um, so you have to choose wisely which three files you want to put in. The nice thing is, let's say you go on a trip, let's say you lose your passport, you can log into your vault, you can get that picture and then you'd be able to go through the process of getting a new passport. It'd be very pain painful if you have to do that. So hopefully that never happens, but just an extra kind of way to secure your documents and your files um, in a secure way. Um, so hopefully you were able to secure some documents using the personal vault. If you were, uh, please give this video a thumbs up. If you wanna see more videos like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button. That way you'll get a notification anytime new content like this comes out. And lastly, if there are any other topics you wanna see me cover on this channel, leave a comment down below. I read them and I'll add it to my list of videos to create in the future. And hey, that's all I had uh, for you today. Hopefully you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.